Good day everyone, so this is Alvin again from the Philippines. Welcome to another edition of Miss Universe 2019 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis. And today, I am going to talk about Miss Universe Bolivia 2019. And since Bolivia belongs to the Americas, here is my current ranking for that region. And this ranking is already updated based on my latest leaderboard for Miss Universe 2019. So if you have not seen my latest, le my latest leaderboard, it's already available on my channel. And of course, at the end of this video, you will also see an updated ranking with Bolivia on the list. Well, let's begin. Bolivia started competing in 1959. Their highest placement was in 1990 with Rosario Rico Toro, who finished in the top six. Their latest placement was in 2006 with Desiree Duran, who finished in the top 10. This year, they just crowned Fabiana Hurtado. She is 21 years old. I have no idea yet about her advocacy or the organization that she will be working with, so I'll just leave that hanging as of the moment. But if you do know, don't forget to hit the comment section below. Please share what you know about her profile, about her advocacies, about her charities that I have not mentioned. It would really help me a lot. So again, just hit the comment section. Now, for her national performances, when it comes to her swimsuit competition, I am really in love with her body. Even if she wore a one-piece swimwear, it is still very apparent that she's got a great figure. But when it comes to her walk, it isn't very strong though. However, it can still be polished with the time that she had for her preparation for Miss Universe 2019. And I do think she is very charming and lovely when she does her poses. Plus, I kinda agree with a comment that I have read online that she resembles Miss Bolivia 2006 Desiree Duran. They do have those resemblance. And for the evening gown competition, I don't know what to say. I love the gown choice, but I am not a fan of her performance. Not a huge fan of her walk, and some of her turns are still very shaky and wobbly. And it's very, very apparent as well. So I do not like that. But that's one thing that she needs to work on as well. So I hope she'll focus on that. I have not followed Miss Bolivia Universe as a pageant, but I do know that she is one of the heavy favorites to win the title. So based on everything that I have seen and against all other candidates from the Americas, it seems that she really needs to level up her game a lot because this region is filled with very, very strong and competitive candidates when it comes to physical beauty, when it comes to profile, when it comes to performances, when it comes to sash factor, when it comes to advocacies, when it comes to speaking skills, and many, many more. Mo this is actually one of the strongest region this year, along with Asia Pacific. Although Asia Pacific is strong, but there are candidates who are really pulling the overall average and quality of the region. But for the Americas, Almost everyone is really, really competitive. So if you really wanted to compete with this region, that you really need to level up your game or else you will be left behind. So having said that, here is my updated ranking for the Americas. I will put Bolivia at number eight as of the moment. Number seven is Curaçao. Number six is Panama. Number five is USA. Number four is Brazil. Number three is Colombia. Two is Mexico. And number one still is Puerto Rico, Madison Anderson. Now many are asking, why was this contestant is on the top of my list before and now she's on the bottom or at the middle of the ranking? Now let me just say that as every time I upload this kind of videos, the rankings might change because there are cases that some ladies are giving some updates that really impressed me a lot so that could affect why it will change the ranking it may go up it may go low so expect some changes so which is why the most latest leaderboard and the most latest videos about this miss universe 2019 current a contestant's profile review and analysis, the latest ranking is the one that you need to rely on. Because as time goes by, 
everything changes because who, we do not know who are who will be crowned next day next week or next month it could be someone stronger or someone who will not make any changes to the ranking at all and as aside, aside from that as what they have said these updates recent updates from the selected candidates could also affect the ranking so i hope i answered your question on why the rankings are changing every now and then so what do you think don't forget to leave your comments below don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future and if you wanted to see as well my reviews of these contestants and the contestants from other region all of them are available on my channel i have also made a playlist where you can view all of them if you want so it's just in there so again thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the philippines